Phil Hartman was a gifted actor and comedian who brought laughter and joy to millions through his work on television. Known for his roles on Saturday Night Live and The Simpsons, he showcased a unique talent for voice acting and character impersonation. Hartman's performances were not just funny, but also warm and relatable, making him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. He left an unforgettable mark on comedy by creating characters that remain popular to this day. Phil Hartman was a talented actor and comedian, well known for his work on Saturday Night Live and the voice of several characters on The Simpsons. His comedic timing and unique voice brought laughter to many and made him a beloved figure in entertainment. We have a lot coming up about Phil Hartman's life, including some funny, shocking, and sad facts. So keep watching. We'd love to hear from you too. Can you share a personal story of how Phil Hartman has inspired or impacted your life? Which work of Phil Hartman do you hold closest to your heart? Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to Phil Hartman? Please share your stories and memories in the comments below. We're eager to hear what you have to say. Phil Hartman was born in Brantford, Ontario, Canada. He was the fourth of eight children. His family moved to the United States when he was 10. Hartman found his love for performance early on. He would often entertain his classmates with impressions of his teachers. In high school, he played in a band and was involved in the drama club. His brother John introduced him to comedy and took him to see films that would later influence his comedic style. Hartman studied graphic arts in college and started a graphic design business. He designed album covers for bands like America and Poco. This creative work led him to join the comedy group The Groundlings, where he developed his skills in writing and performing. It was here that he met Paul Rubens and helped develop the character Pee Wee Herman. Hartman's time with The Groundlings was crucial in shaping his future in comedy and acting. Phil Hartman was a talented actor known for his work in television, film, and voice acting. He gained fame on Saturday Night Live, where he was a cast member from 1986 to 1994. His performances on the show are still celebrated today. For those new to his work, watching his SNL sketches is a good start. In film, Hartman had memorable roles in movies like Jingle All the Way, where he played the nosy neighbor Ted Malton, and Small Soldiers, where he voiced the character Phil Fimple. These films showcase his comedic talent and are enjoyable for fans and newcomers alike. Hartman's voice acting in The Simpsons as characters like Lionel Hutz and Troy McClure is also noteworthy. These characters became fan favorites and are a testament to his skill in bringing animated characters to life. For a deeper appreciation of his talent, one should watch News Radio, where he played the radio news anchor Bill McNeil. This role allowed Hartman to display his range as an actor, making it a must-watch for fans. Overall, Hartman's work in comedy and voice acting left a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. His performances are still enjoyed by audiences around the world. Phil Hartman, known for his work on Saturday Night Live, found his passion for performance during his time with the improvisational comedy group The Groundlings. It was here that he honed his skills in creating characters and comedic timing. His experience with the Groundlings was a turning point, leading him to pursue acting and comedy as a full-time career. This group provided a supportive environment where he could experiment and grow, which played a significant role in shaping his path as an actor and comedian. Hartman's ability to bring laughter to any role became his signature, and it all started with the joy and challenge of improvisational comedy. Phil Hartman was a key player on Saturday Night Live, sharing the stage with Chevy Chase, Bill Murray, John Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, Mike Myers, and Tina Fey. Together, they earned Emmys for their writing contributions. In a memorable farewell on his final show, Hartman sang to Chris Farley, marking a poignant moment as both actors passed away within six months of each other. Hartman's versatility shone through in the film, So I Married an Axe Murderer, where he stepped into the role of Ranger John Vicky Johnson, a part initially meant for Gary Busey. When Busey opted for another project, and with Alan Arkin considering a different role, Hartman expressed interest in playing Vicky, securing the role that showcased his comedic talent. Phil Hartman faced many challenges in his early career. He struggled to make ends meet and was often turned down for roles. Despite this, he never gave up. 
He used his talent for voices and characters to create opportunities for himself. He wrote scripts and performed on stage, slowly gaining recognition. His hard work paid off when he became a cast member on Saturday Night Live, where his career flourished. Harmon's story shows that with determination and creativity, one can overcome tough times and succeed. Bill Hartman was known for his kindness and support among his peers. On the set of Saturday Night Live, he was a guiding light for Jan Hooks, helping her to face her stage fright and shine in her performances. His role as Phil Fimple in the movie Small Soldiers is still remembered by many. Interestingly, he had worked with Kirsten Dunst in the film Greedy, where she played his niece four years before Small Soldiers was released. Hartman grew up in a large family. He was one of eight children. His family was deeply rooted in their Catholic faith and moved from Canada to the United States during the 1950s, seeking a new life. Hartman's journey from a big family to becoming a beloved actor is a story of talent and warmth that touched everyone he worked with. Phil Hartman's career had several significant breakthroughs that marked him as a standout talent in comedy and voice acting. One major turning point was his tenure on Saturday Night Live from 1986 to 1994 where his ability to impersonate famous personalities won him widespread acclaim. His performances were noted for their precision and wit, and he became known as the glue of them. Phil Hartman once participated in the game, show The Dating Game in 1965, where he was chosen by a bachelorette who ultimately did not show up for their date. Later in his career, Hartman played the character Phil Fempel in the movie Small Soldiers. This film was a sort of reunion as it brought together actors who had worked together in other projects. For instance, Kirsten Dunst had previously worked with David Cross, Phil Hartman, and Dennis Leary in different movies. Unfortunately, Phil Hartman was murdered before the premiere of Small Soldiers, which led to his character being excluded from the print advertisements for the movie, aligning with the film's general avoidance of featuring human characters in its print ads. Phil Hartman was known for his exceptional ability to bring characters to life with a unique blend of humor and authenticity. His approach to comedy was often characterized by his impeccable timing and the subtle nuances he brought to each role. Hartman's background as a graphic designer before his acting career influenced his attention to detail in his performances. He excelled at voice acting and was particularly adept at creating memorable and distinct voices for his characters as seen on shows like Saturday Night Live and The Simpsons. His personal experiences and broad creative skills allowed him to infuse his roles with depth and a touch of personal flair, making his characters feel real and relatable. This ability to connect with his audience through a genuine portrayal of characters set him apart in the entertainment industry. Phil Hartman attended Westchester High School with Lynette Squeaky Fromm. During his time on Saturday Night Live, starting in 1975, he often worked around 65 hours a week. Phil Hartman and several other well-known performers such as Lorraine Newman, John Lovitz, and Will Ferrell were all alumni of the Groundlings Theater in Los Angeles, which is known for producing talented comedic actors. Phil Hartman was a talented actor and comedian known for his work on television, especially on Saturday Night Live and The Simpsons. He had a unique ability to bring characters to life with his voice and acting skills. His work influenced other actors and comedians to explore different roles and styles. People in the industry admired his range and ability to play various characters with ease. He inspired many by showing that humor could be smart and sharp without being mean. His sudden passing left a void in the entertainment world, but his performances continued to bring joy to audiences and serve as a guide for aspiring comedians and voice actors. Industry experts agree that his style and approach to comedy and character work remain influential in the field. Phil Hartman brought to life the character Phil Fimple in the movie Small Soldiers. Puppeteer Jim Charmatz recalls the joy of working with Hartman, who was fascinated by the puppeteering on set. His reactions to the animated characters were memorable and highlighted his enjoyment of the creative process. Hartman also made a significant mark on Saturday Night Live, where he was one of the Canadian cast members alongside names like Dan Aykroyd and Mike Myers. 
Additionally, he was one of seven actors who portrayed Ronald Reagan on the show, showcasing his skill in capturing the essence of real-life figures. Phil Hartman was known for his love of flying and was an accomplished private pilot. He often flew to comedy gigs and charity events. His passion for aviation was a significant part of his life, and he shared this with friends and family. Hartman also enjoyed sailing and was a fan of outdoor activities, which he believed helped him stay grounded and provided inspiration for his work. In terms of giving back, Hartman was active in charity work, especially focused on children's welfare and education. He supported various nonprofit organizations and participated in events to raise money for schools and to support the arts and education. His belief in the power of laughter to heal and bring joy was evident in his support for programs that brought comedy and entertainment to children in hospitals. Hartman's personal interests and values were reflected in his work, as he often played characters that were kind-hearted and humorous. He believed in the importance of laughter and its ability to connect people, which is why he often chose roles that made audiences smile. His legacy continues to inspire those in the entertainment industry and beyond. Phil Hartman looked up to Jonathan Winters as his first comedic idol, admiring his talent and humor. Hartman once had plans to bring his character Chick Hazard, Private Eye, to the big screen, but unfortunately, that movie never happened. In the film Small Soldiers, Hartman played Phil Fimple, joining a cast that included five other former Saturday Night Live members Christopher Guest, Michael McKean, Jay Mower, Shiri Otri, and Harry Shearer. This movie is remembered for its unique blend of comedy and action, and for bringing together a group of actors known for their sketch comedy skills. Phil Hartman was known for his skill in comedy and voice acting. He brought laughter to many and was respected for his work ethic and talent. His roles on shows like Saturday Night Live and The Simpsons left a lasting impression. For those starting in the industry, he would likely advise to work hard, be patient, and always keep learning. It's important to stay true to oneself while being open to new experiences. Success comes from dedication and the ability to adapt and grow. Phil Hartman brought a unique touch to every role he played. In Pee Wee's Big Adventure, he stepped into the shoes of a reporter and also co-wrote the screenplay with Paul Rubens and Michael Varhol. They learned screenplay writing from a book by Sidfield and followed its guidelines closely. This approach made the movie a classic example in screenwriting courses. With a structure that mirrors the length of the film, each act corresponds to a third of both the script and the film's duration. On Saturday Night Live, Hartman's portrayal of Bill Clinton left a memorable mark, showcasing his talent for capturing the essence of the people he impersonated. In Small Soldiers, he played Phil Fimple, adding his comedic flair to the mix. His versatility extended to voice acting as well, where he joined Kirsten Dunst in the English version of Kiki's Delivery Service, bringing animated characters to life with his voice. Hartman's contributions across various roles and formats highlight his skill as an actor who could adapt to different challenges in the world of entertainment. Phil Hartman was a talented actor and comedian who brought laughter and joy to many. His work on television, especially on shows like Saturday Night Live and The Simpsons, showed his love for making people smile. He was always trying new things and bringing fresh ideas to his roles. His work has left a lasting memory in the world of TV and movies. His life reminds us that being creative and never giving up can lead to great things and touch many lives. Phil Hartman's story encourages us to keep creating good and to stay strong no matter what challenges we face. Phil Hartman, known for his humor and charm, left a lasting impression on his colleagues. Arnold Schwarzenegger, who worked with Hartman and Jingle all the way, spoke fondly of him, recalling the laughter and good times they shared both during and after filming. Hartman's talents extended beyond acting. He once tried out to be the announcer for The Price is Right, a role that ultimately went to Rod Roddy. In a memorable farewell on Saturday Night Live, Hartman showcased his musical side by singing to Chris Farley, marking his final appearance on the show. Phil Hartman brought to life an impressive array of 19 different characters over nine seasons on The Simpsons. His notable roles included regular characters like Troy McClure and Lionel Hutz, as well as unique one-time appearances such as Moses, the cable guy, and Bill Clinton. 
In the film Jingle All the Way, Hartman played Ted Malton and was known for his friendly and warm relations with co-stars Arnold Schwarzenegger and Rita Wilson, making him a pleasant colleague on set. Hartman's influence reached into literature with the biography You Might Remember Me, which details quirky facts such as his changing his last name by dropping an N to better his I Ching number. While Frank Sinatra eventually appreciated Hartman's impersonations, Bill Clinton had more reserved praise, humorously acknowledging Hartman's portrayal of him on television. Phil Hartman was known for his talent and humor, which left a significant mark on television and comedy. His performances on shows like Saturday Night Live and The Simpsons are remembered fondly by fans around the world. We would love to hear what you think about Phil Hartman's work and his influence on comedy and television. Please share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel for more content that celebrates the creative figures who have shaped the entertainment we enjoy today.